Hello guys, Andrew here. Welcome back to Drew Tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Discord stock on starting. Now, there can be a few reasons for this. And I'm going to walk you through a few solutions here that you can do in order to fix this. Now, the first option is to check the compatibility mode. All you have to do is just simply right click on the Discord icon, whether it's on your desktop or wherever, and simply click on properties. Now, go ahead and click on compatibility tab and just ensure that this option that says run this program in compatibility mode for is not checked, right? So if it's checked, go ahead and uncheck that and click on apply and OK. Now, the next solution that you can try is to clear the Discord cache and temporary files. And for that, you want to open Run. So just simply right click on the Windows icon in the taskbar, click on Run, and go ahead and type in Modulus Updata Modulus, right? Or Percentage Updata Percentage, right? Click on OK, and it's going to open it for you. Now, let me pull over my file explorer here. Now, you want to go ahead and open up the discard folder here, and you want to look for a few folders here the GPU cache, code cache, and cache. Go ahead and delete these three folders. Another folder that you can also delete on top of these three is the local storage, right? So you, if you delete all four of these folders, don't worry about it. The next time you open up this card, it's going to regenerate for you. On top of that, if you're still having problems, I've also have experience by simply going back and delete the entire discard folder. Don't worry about it. Nothing will happen. The next time you open up this card, it's going to recreate it for you without any problems. So go ahead and try from the basics by deleting the cache, code cache, and the GPU, and the GPU cache. Try again. If still having issues, also delete the local storage. If you're still having issues, you can try again to go back to roaming and delete the entire discard folder. Trying these will help to delete any corruption that you may have within your discard profile. And last and finally, after trying all of these guys, I recommend that you simply click on the Windows key on your keyboard, click the power button on the lower right, and restart your computer. Try all of these guys. I'm sure one of them will definitely fix the problem for you. If it does, give this video a like. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It really helps me and help the channel grow. And see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.